Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for hitting that play button for another episode of the Hetty Coleman Podcast. And it is, what is today? I shouldn't even say the day. What if you're not listening to this on the day that I say today's Wednesday? No, today's not Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. And it's 5.05 p.m. I typically do these recordings early in the morning, but it just didn't happen for me for some reason today. So I'm doing it in the uh, evening, but I almost didn't do it. You've heard that before from me, but I decided I'm going to do it. And also, you know what I've been thinking about? So I, I, some of you will be watching this on video and sometimes I feel like I just over kind of feel uncomfortable with wanting to get this all right. Like I want it perfect as far as video goes. Podcast people are just listening to me talk. But really this I'm recording on video because I'm just recording my podcast. So you're just watching me in the studio putting together uh, my podcast kind of like if I was doing a radio show. And so you're just watching me and I'm doing stuff. I'm I'm hold on a second. Matter of fact, let me go get my let me go get my drink. And it's not that kind of it's not that kind of drink. I didn't go get that kind of drink, but uh, yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm chewing ice. I probably shouldn't be chewing ice in your ear. So, but for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Hetty Coleman, and you can go to HettyColeman.com to check out my blog posts and essentially my podcast right now. Or one or two things. I typically have either a go-in conversation with a fabulous person to get their story out there, or I talk over whatever I wrote on my blog post. And so I can do I do it in video form and then also the audio, which is mainly the podcast, and this is for the podcast. And so you're just kind of watching me on video do my podcast. And so this morning I wrote on my blog about the power of accepting others, how, how powerful that is. And I wanted to give you a little story how I came to that uh, as far as putting together a blog around ex- the power of accepting others because it's a part of a, a talk that I do. And that talk came about because uh, when I first moved back to my hometown, Guthrie, America, I was looking for uh, some men to be around. I go, I keep hearing about this particular guy. I finally get to go and hang out with him and I get to meet him and I walk in his office and he has all these cool things that have been won because people look at him in a certain way and appreciate him for what he does. And I was like, I need to be around this guy as often as possible. I asked him, can I meet with him? He says, yeah, we can meet on at 6 a.m. on Fridays if you want to do that. He and I meet for at 6 a.m. on Fridays for a number of years, two, two, two and a half or so. And it was a really um, important part of my life. And he and I still meet and we meet like on Mondays or Wednesdays at two. And we just kind of catch up and we talk faith and uh, just talk all sorts of things about life and has become a really great relationship for me. But there was this event we were at. It was at a banquet for the Chamber of Commerce, and they give out all these awards throughout for, for the year, uh, awards like Business of the Year, uh, Nonprofit of the Year, Volunteer of the Year. And we're at this banquet. I'm there. I have a table uh, for my job, and I'm walking around high-fiving people, greeting people. And then eventually, I go sit down, and the event starts, and people start coming up, and they're giving out these awards. And then Dan, my mentor, the guy I've been spending time with, he walks up, and He's giving out this, he's he's telling about this person who's going to win the award that he's presenting. And then my wife and I were like, man, this person is a rock star. Who is this? And he says, and the citizen of the year goes to Hetty Coleman. And my wife and I look at each other and we were like, what in the world? Are you serious? People thought of me to be citizen of the year. Like this is just a super cool moment for me. And then, so we won't go on too long. Uh, I'm walking down towards uh, Dan to receive the award. People are like applauding for me. They are standing and I'm 
crying and Dan and I hug each other because when I walked in Dan's office that, that day, he had citizen of the year on his wall. And I remember seeing that and thinking like, that couldn't be real. Like, what is that like to be considered citizen of the year? And then people pick me to be citizen of the year. And that night we go to Brahms and I have my citizen of the year award with me and we're sitting there and I'm starting to think like, what in the world does it mean to be citizen of the year and why would people pick me? And one of the workshops that I do is called go in and I use hashtag go win for everything as far as like what the way that I end text messages, emails and things like that. And the last couple of here recently, I've wrote about enthusiasm. I, I think I've wrote about noticing others. If not, I'm going to write about that. And that's part of, that comes from, that derives from this night that when I'm in bed, I'm thinking about what are the right things that I need to be consistent in in order to achieve such a thing? Like, what was it that I was doing over and over that people saw in me and they was like, I want that guy to be our citizen of the year. And go in is defined, if you don't know, is being consistent in doing the right things that allow for you to achieve the wins you want for your life so you can live out your greatest story. And so I start pondering what are these right things? And then I eventually come up with seven right things. And so those seven right things, uh, one was enthusiasm. Um, and then another one was notice. And then another one was grace then another one was um another one was uh let me get it another one was accept and then the next one was give and then the next one was uh let me see expect And then the, the next one was do. And what that spelled out for me was this engaged. Engaged. And so what I want to talk to you about today, though, is this one. Let me find it here real quick is accept. I want to talk to you about accept because I believe there's great power in accepting others. There's great power in doing this. And it's not saying that when I say that I accept people, that does not mean that um, I think just like them. It doesn't mean that I accept their behavior, uh, but I accept them as people. And it, it kind of reminds me of respect. Like, I'm just going to show this person respect, even if they don't show me respect. I'm going to respect this person. I'm going to accept, I accept who they are as a human being. I accept them for regardless if they're rich or poor. Uh, if they culturally, we don't line up. Um, Politically, we may not, that does not mean that I cannot accept this person as a human being. And in that, I show this person respect. And I think there's great power in that because one of the things that um, I, I've come to realize is that I have this way about me that I just see people as people. And if they mess up, I understand that I mess up. And that's where that grace comes in. I talk about grace in this. One of the right things is just showing people grace. Now, that accepting people does not mean that I have to be friends with them. That does not mean that I have to invite them over my house. I'm just saying that I'm going to accept you for who you are. Um, but in that, that does not mean that we're best friends. I just accept you. So I'm going to treat you like a human being. I'm going to respect you. And I think there's great power if everyone got to this place to where, oh, no, I'm fine with you not um, Agreeing with me, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that you eat meat and I don't eat meat. I accept you for for that. I accept you in that. Uh, that does not mean that I, if you're doing things is wrong. I accept that. I don't not the behavior, but just you as a person. And so, and I just think there's great power in that. And that's kind of what I talked about today. Is that me accepting you means that I speak to you in public. It means that I invite you over for for dinner. And that's again, that's not mean that we are becoming great buddies, but I will I accept you for who you are. The, and if there's a behavior problem, that's different. But I'm just saying I accept I can help people over to my house that I may not line up with. Uh, I'll serve you when needed. Uh, I will use my gifts and talents to impact the entire community, not just a portion of it. Like I want to see everybody in my community, in my city win. 
I'll listen to you without holding it against you if it doesn't line up with my thinking. I accept you and, and understand that you may see things differently than me. And so that's kind of, that's what I wrote about today. And, and the question that I would have for you, the question of the day is, uh, what does it look like to accept others in your life? What, what does that look like for you? Am I seeing acceptance wrong? Do you think that there's power in acceptance? I just went off on three different questions. The question is, what does it look like to accept others in your life? life what does that look like for you to accept others in your life and i just i would really appreciate it if you respond you can go to hetty at hettycoman.com and email me there i should have typed that up somewhere but uh hetty at hettycoman.com um and shoot me a, shoot me a email and let me know what you think i would love to hear that um yeah so that is it thank you for listening thank you for hitting that play button once again ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you thank you and as always ladies and gentlemen as always go win